say hello to Mr. Squirrel, who resides at 100 Walnut Lane. He may look familiar to you if you were with me for our adventures last November. You remember the one where we matched wits with walnuts and in the end, Mr. Squirrel definitely had the last laugh. If you happen to miss that fun adventure, I will be sure to link that video here and in the description box below if you want to check out the replay. Well today to kick off the start of the autumn season, I thought we could write a letter to Mr. Squirrel, but make the whole thing decidedly autumn themed and then take said letter and deliver it to Mr. Squirrel's mailbox. Uh, yeah, we're making him a mailbox. He's got enough somewhere to put his letters. And with said letter, we are also going to deliver him a few walnuts. They are his favorite. So, if you like pen pals, autumn, and squirrels, stick around. My name is Bethany, and this is Joyful Habits. So I was really excited to remember that this time last year, I had collected a ton of beautiful uh, colored fall leaves, pressed them between the pages of some heavy books. I could not, however, remember which books those were, so I had to go through almost every single book I own. But it was a lot of fun because it was like searching for a hidden treasure, you know, among the pages. Anyway, I found all of my leaves and yeah, I think we have plenty. As you can see, I went a little crazy last year. But I don't think there's any such thing as too many autumn leaves. So yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> I found a box of these blank cards and envelopes on Amazon. I really like them. They're very sturdy. Uh, they're a nice cream color versus a stark white. And they've been a really great blank canvas for a lot of my pen paling and just creative projects like we're doing today. I'll definitely link them below if you're interested. So if you're starting to get to know me at this point, you'll know that I go into a lot of these videos with not much of a plan, just sort of a general idea of what I'm going for or some spark of inspiration that I'm working off of. Same thing here, I didn't really have an exact plan of what I was going to do, so I had a random thought to glue a leaf to one of the cards to try and sort of preserve it, I guess. So I grabbed some clear glue and just started gluing the leaves to the cards, but I didn't just glue it, I also put glue on top of it so it would create like a shiny, um, smooth <laughs> covering, I guess. And again, just try and help preserve the leaf. After a while, I thought it might be a little bit easier to just dip the leaf in the glue. And actually that worked really well. It gave it a more thick and even coating. And then I kind of just ruined it by brushing it anyway, but <laughs> it still turned out better, I think. So I decided to do it again and just dip the leaf both sides and stick it to the card. And it really came out beautiful. It had a really nice shiny sheen to it. You could see all the details. So next random idea I had was to go online and Google a bunch of random images. I found these sort of fall themed stamps. I don't have a color printer, so I printed them out black and white and just colored them in with some pencils. Then I found this fun sketch artwork and I really liked the acorn one specifically. I thought that really went well with our squirrel theme. 
So I colored those as well. And then to give everything a more aged look, I decided to soak everything I had colored in some coffee. If you've not seen this method before, it works really well. You can use black tea or coffee. I've been using this method, I don't know, since I was maybe nine years old. I saw it randomly on like a HGTV craft show or something at my grandmother's house. And I was like, that is so cool. And yeah, I use it a lot now for pretty much everything. Okay, not everything, but I use it in a lot of projects. If you saw my Christmas video from a few years ago when I was making my Christmas bucket list, I also stained that with coffee and I mentioned this in that video as well, but one of the things I really like about staining the paper with coffee or black tea, not only does it give it an aged look, but it tends to, I don't know, like blend the coloring or make it look a little more like a deep vibrant color. I'm not really sure, but it just really makes the whole thing look really nice. It, it looks less like you just kind of colored it with pencils and more like artwork or something. Or like you put a lot more effort into it. I'm not really sure how to explain it, so yeah, give it a try. You'll see what I mean. So I then decided to decorate the envelope and I just kind of drew a little vine around the edges, front and back, and then using, you know, orange and yellow and brown pencils uh, made little leaves along the vine. And then I was trying to decide how I was going to address the envelope and I decided instead of just writing the address on the envelope I would tear some of my coffee stained paper, glue that to the envelope, and then write the address on that. The leftover coffee stained paper that I had I decided to make a little envelope which I didn't know what I was gonna do with yet but I thought it would be cute again we're kind of flying by the seat of our pants here making it up as we go <laughs> Once I had my cute little envelope, I was trying to decide how I wanted to decorate it. I had these stencils and decided to just color in a nice leaf on the front. So I kind of liked the idea of making a little mini envelope and so I cut out a little bit of the newspaper article that I had printed out and stained with coffee and decided to make a really tiny envelope. I then was trying to figure out why I was even making all these mini envelopes and where I was going with this and what the heck am I even going to put in them. I had the random idea to use this leaf stamp to stamp leaves and then put like leaf confetti in the envelope, but that didn't really work out or it was kind of just taking way too long. So yeah, I decided to kind of bail on that idea. For the slightly bigger envelope that I made, I decided to collect some of my favorite leaves that I had pressed from last year and fill the envelope. I decided to tape a leaf on the outside, which I really liked how that looked. And 
then to seal the smaller envelope I had made, I decided to use a cute little button. So here's all the artwork that I had printed out and colored and stained with coffee. And yeah, I'm not sure if you can tell with the camera, but they really just, they look nice after you stain them with the coffee. It really just kind of blends the colors all together and yeah, I like it. So because my leaf confetti didn't really work out, um, I was still trying to decide what to put in the smaller envelope and that's when I had the idea that I could cut out some of these stamps and put those in there as like little stickers but without the sticky backing. <laughs> I mean if you have glue you can pretty much turn anything into a sticker. So I then picked out a few of the stamps and glued them to the envelope. I liked the look of having three instead of just one. Then I decided to rip another piece of the coffee stained paper to be the return address, except I didn't put an address, I just put joyful habits. <laughs> and now to address the letter to Mr. Squirrel at 100 Walnut Lane in Nutville. And again, out of all those sketches, I really liked the acorn. I thought it was very fitting for our Mr. Squirrel. Then I decided to have a little bit of fun with the newspaper. I cut out a smaller piece of it and decided to name it the Nutville Gazette. cards that we glued the leaves to have dried at this point. I really love how they turned out. You can see all the veins and details of the leaves, but they're preserved and smooth, and I really liked how this turned out. So yeah, I think at this point I was pretty happy with all the components I had for the pen pal kit, and now we just had to write our letter to Mr. Squirrel. Dear Mr. Squirrel, how are you? I hope this letter finds you well. Did you receive my last package of walnuts? I know they are your favorite. Enclosed, you will find a sketch I thought you would love to add to your art gallery, as well as a newspaper clipping from the Nutville Gazette. I thought the article on the Acorn stock market would interest you. Hope to hear from you soon. Joyful habits. I put Mr. Squirrel's walnuts in this cute little bag that I had, and yeah, I think we're ready to put everything together.
So I found these really nice uh, melting wax beads for a wax seal. And they're a really beautiful deep brown color. And I also found this really nice wax seal stamp that is the shape of a leaf. And I thought all of that went really well with our autumn theme, both the color of the wax and the stamp. And as usual, I'm using way too much wax, but I don't know, I kind of like the messy look. Mr. Squirrel's letter. Because I can't leave well enough alone, I grabbed a Q-tip in the homemade walnut ink that I made last November. If you haven't seen that video, I'll have that linked below. And just kind of outline everything on the envelope. I don't know, I kind of liked how it looked. Want to hear a secret? This mug has nothing in it. I do not trust myself to put steaming hot liquid in this thing because my hands do not appreciate being left out of the conversation. I talk with my hands a lot. My hands are constantly all over the place as I'm talking and if my hands were holding something with steaming hot liquid, somebody would get burned. And it wouldn't be Mr. Squirrel. It would be me. I'd be the one who would get burned. So scalding hot tea, out of the question. I did think about just not holding anything, but turns out when you have nothing in your hands and you're talking to a camera alone by yourself in a room, it kind of feels awkward. And let's be honest, this mug has a squirrel on it, so I couldn't not have it in this video. Gotta keep to that theme. So yeah, the final decision was hold mug with nothing in it. Look at our letter. We made a letter. We wrote a letter. I just wrote a letter. I just wrote a letter. I know who it's from. <laughs> So yeah, we wrote a letter to our pen pal, Mr. Squirrel. I love the seal. If you are interested in that, check out the description box below because I've linked this and everything else you see in the video in the description box so that you too can write the squirrel in your life. So that you too can spoil the squirrel in your life with a wax seal on their letter. But yeah, super excited. So we're gonna go put this in his mailbox and see if we can get some footage of him checking the mail. So real quick, we can't put Mr. Squirrel's letter in his mailbox if he doesn't have a mailbox. So I grabbed an old cardboard box that I had lying around, cut it into this kind of random shape that I hope would fold together nicely. I hot glued it all together, painted it white, and then I cut some smaller pieces of cardboard and painted that red and then hot glued that to the cardboard box. And then I wrote Mr. Squirrel and his address on the side. And voila, we have a mailbox for Mr. Squirrel.
What'd you think? Pretty cute, huh? He's so cute. We got footage of Mr. Squirrel. I was really nervous that I was going to get absolutely no footage of Mr. Squirrel and then this whole video would kind of be like, Bruh. I hope you guys have had fun pen paling with me today and maybe this will inspire you to write a letter to the squirrel in your life. Or not. I mean, you don't have to be a crazy squirrel person. <laughs> but it's kind of fun. Anyway, I'm gonna head out. Stay tuned for more fall content coming soon. And with that being said, my name is Bethany. This is Joyful Habits, where we daydream and add a touch of whimsy to the ordinary. I'll see you all very soon, and until then, keep smiling. Bye, friends.